Okay, here we have a quick overview of my uh, ground station for FPV. And basically today I went out and I bought uh, that box that you can see sitting on the battery with the voltmeter in it. Uh, the voltmeter I got from BevRC and uh, basically I bought the box and some other components that are inside it so that I plug everything uh, or just the power into that actually and everything runs from there so there's a 8000 milliamp hour battery underneath there and uh, then I have the uh, obviously the box with the DVR on top and that's running the same picture through the splitter that's just here I'll just make sure I get a good picture of that forgive all the mess in the background it's been one of those days um, and that comes up to the monitor, which is here. Let's go back a bit. It's an 8 inch monitor. Um, very, very clear, very bright. I've actually had to turn it down a bit, and it looks like it could go down a little bit more. But it is facing a white wall at the moment. And um, it's got the shroud over it, as you can see. Um, I've actually seen this operate outside, I haven't tried it yet, but without the shroud. Um, and up here we've got the uh, diversity receivers with uh, the helical and the skew planner wheel um, antennas. There's still a little bit of bird's nest of junk up there, but I'll sort that out shortly. Um, yeah, so basically that's where it's at. You can see the uh, table that I, I put it on and then that goes down there to the, uh, this is the box I keep it in, the Pelican box and uh, eventually I'll actually mount the monitor and all that sort of thing uh, separately into that but I'll have it on a quick release. And I'm just showing down the bottom what I've done with the uh, support struts there we can't see that very well but they're just some brackets with some wing nuts and bolts that go through and uh, 30 centimeters each side of leg uh, it goes through the umbrella hole on the table and uh, that keeps everything nice and stable and basically that's the uh, the single receiver that I purchased initially before I decided to get the duo and there we go that's it um, I'm very very happy with the way this has turned out um, I actually managed to order and well not order but I found on a blog site a brand new dragon link today um, and I paid for that and that's on its way the gentleman's very kindly going to send it express post even though I didn't ask for that so that's great you can hear my old chair creaking in the background so there it is folks, it's finally coming together and uh, I've got a little bit of work to do on the back end here. I've got to uh, just cut things out, you probably can't see it in there terribly well which is a good idea. Um, I've actually kept quite a bit of cable attached to the power for the video um, and there's quite a bit of cable for the, uh, uh, the three leads as well for the video in and, and the audio in and the power lead's got quite a bit there too so that I can actually take that to the plane and set my aircraft up uh, whilst it's on the ground or whilst it's on the uh, bench nearby um, but in any event it provides me the opportunity to be able to have that portable and, and not have to mess around with lots of other bits and pieces and try and make things work I've pretty much designed this from the ground up and uh, done so with the idea of making it easy to put up and pull down and uh, not too cumbersome not too messy and otherwise uh, easy to use just a quick addendum to the video um, although you won't see the time delay there certainly was one you might have noticed I don't know how clearly you got to see in the last shot but the uh, screen didn't have any details down at the bottom um, and I just realized that it was on 16.9 instead of 4.3 as an aspect ratio which stretched it out right across the screen really nicely but didn't actually give us an accurate portrayal of what I'd be seeing in the goggles I've corrected that now as you can see the screen's a little bit it's not in the wide angle uh, that it was before but all of the details are much clearer 
Um, you probably can't see terribly well down the bottom there, and I don't know that zooming in is really going to do any justice. Um, in any event, I just thought I'd bring that up. There we go. You can see down the bottom there. You can see the satellite and the GPS information at the top, which I have disabled at the moment. And, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd add that bit on there. And uh, hopefully uh, everything's going to go well.